item difficulties measures the proportion of students who answered a question or a item correctly sometimes it is referred to as a p value p stands for proportion the item difficulty value range from 0 to 1 0 indicates that no student has had answered the question or the item correctly so it is an extremely difficult question and uh, item difficulty of uh, 1 means that all the students had answered the question correctly so it is a very easy question and the way to calculate the item difficulty is to count the number of the student who, who answered the item correctly and divide, divide that by the total number of students participating or taking the exam and to get the percentage multiply that by 100. Here I have a, an, a result of an exam or a test for 38 students who had answered 76 multiple choice question and their score was entered as 0 or 1 0 for wrong answer 1 for correct answer and to calculate and determine the item difficulty for each question and to determine which question is very easy which question is very difficult which item is ideal and acceptable we will follow the formula just described previously so i'm going to type in this cell p value as we're going to calculate the p value or the item difficulty and to calculate the item difficulty, I'm going to insert the equal sign and then type sum and then select the sum function and then select the range for the first question. So we are going to select the scores for item number one for student one uh, up to student number three at 38. And then we close, close the bracket and then we going to insert or saw a bracket between the sum and its and its range so uh, as we are going to divide the sum by uh, the number of the total number of the student participating in the exam which is 38 so this the formula or the equation adding all the value on the uh, for the items uh, for each student their score whether it is correct or wrong and then divide that by 38 and if we click on the enter button or enter icon the item difficulty value is calculated to reduce the decimal i'm going to select only two decimal points for this value uh, the for the first item or questions the value for the p is 0.18 and to auto fill and auto calculate the item difficulty for all the 70 uh, remaining 75 multiple choice questions select and drag so that uh, toward the end of the column that column ends for question number 76 and the excel will auto calculate and fill the item difficulty for each question again we can see here that each question has its own way of measuring its difficulty through item difficulty to make things much easier also i'm going to color code those value using the table here small table uh, taking in consideration that the ideal question that has a difficulty item difficulty range from 0.4 to 0.6 and i'm going to increase it a little bit here taking a value of 0.4 to 0.66 so to color code these values select the row for first and then click on the conditional formatting 
scroll to new rule and then in the uh, select rule type click on the format only cell that contain so in this format i'm going to color code only cells that has specific value so cell value i'm going to use a range between 0.4 and 0.66 so what I'm going to do here is color code anything between 0.4 and 0.66 and I'm going to give it a color by clicking on format and clicking on fill and since, since this is what we want to select I'm going to select, click on the green color and if I click on OK again and click here on OK all the values that has a range between a range between 0.4 and 0.66 is color coded as green and green indicates that this is an ideal question this is a, a question that is really good to use in the exam now for the rest which is of course the rest will be um, either very easy or very extremely easy or extremely difficult again we're going to do the same uh, click on conditional formatting scroll down to new rule and then click on format cells that contain again the same thing and instead of selecting between not between so we're going to use exactly the same value 0.4 and 0.66 so the any value that is not between 0.4 and 0.66 I'm going to color code that by clicking in the fill and give it, a, give it a red color meaning that this question is either it is very very easy or very very difficult click on OK and then click on OK again here here as we can see that each item has it is its value for difficulty and each difficulty is color coded red for very easy or very difficult and green is an ideal or acceptable uh, questions with acceptable difficulties to calculate the percentage of item difficulty you set the percentage and then into the cell next to it going to insert the equal sign and then select the value of the item difficulty for question number one multiply that by 100 and press on enter a percentage of the item difficulty is calculated and I'm going to decrease the decimal point to just one decimal point and to calculate the percentage of item difficulty for the rest of the multiple choice question just select drag to auto fill and auto calculate the value for the rest of the questions again here the percentage of item difficulty is calculated with the p-value for each item here on this side a small description for the range of the item difficulty any item or questions that has a p-value or item difficulty from 0 to 20 is labeled as a very difficult questions from 20 to 40 is difficult from 41 to 60 considered to be moderately difficult 61 to 80 percent is easy and 81 to 100 percent is considered to be a very easy questions or question or an item if we look at the item difficulty percentage for question number one we see that the value is 18.4 percent using the value here a range of the value this question is very difficult as only 18 0.4% of the student answered this question correctly so this question is extremely difficult one and uh, question number two next to it has 
a value for item difficulty of 95, nearly 95%, which indicate that 95% of the student participating in the exam answered this question, question number two, correctly. So this indicate that this question is extremely very easy question. The one next to it is just on the border between an ideal an ideal um, question ideal question has a p value range of 0.41 to 60 as is shown here 0.41 to 60 so this one is just on the border of being considered to be uh, an ideal question the one next to it is nearly 79 percent item difficulties which uh, indicate that this question is a very easy question and uh, so on so looking at analyzing the difficulty item difficulty for the rest and that uh, and looking at this one here saying it's five five seven fifty seven percent that's an ideal ideal question the one here 81 is very easy this one is an ideal questions so this is the way to sort out and label the questions in an exam paper as either uh, very easy easy ideal questions very difficult or difficult questions based on the item difficulty calculation